to run this tutorial i'll show you a cool hover effect for your elementor website so here when we hover over on these images you can see this cool repeating image hover effect with this smooth animation so without any further ado let's see how we can make this cool effect okay now here inside our this page under this content i will add our this image hover effect but before that here i also want to mention one another thing so if you want to get this hover effect as a ready-made template you can also get this from my template shop and here as a bonus i'll also give you total three different versions of this effect and all of them are fully supported for the container and the non-container version okay so now let's go back again to our video and here at the bottom first of all i want to take a new container and inside that i want to put three different columns so for that here let's add a another container inside that and for this i want to make it width to the full width and make the width to 33.33 percent which is basically the one third of our this container now inside that here i want to add an image widget and upload an image let's go to the style and give it width to 100 percent and the height to 400 pixel and also make the object fit to the cover to adjust the image perfectly and here i also want to make a fully rounded corner so make the border radius to a big value 200 pixel perfect that's all about our design now before adding our effect i want to check its responsiveness for our tablet and the mobile devices so here on the tablet we can see we need to reduce its height and width so make its height 320 pixel and also need to reduce its width but here you need to remind that to achieve our effect perfectly here we always need to make this width to 100 percent otherwise this will not working so in case you need to reduce the width for this image you can do that from this advanced width option so from here make it to custom and make it to 210 pixel and here i want to align it to the center so go to this container settings and make the align items to the center perfect and lastly let's also check it from the mobile here we also don't need to do anything so go back again to the desktop and here i want to add our another two images so i want to just duplicate this container to place them horizontally let's go to this parent container and make its direction to the row okay now let's quickly change those images now everything looks perfect finally we need to add our this effect so for this we need to take an html widget and drag this under here and paste some code here you don't need to worry about any of this code snippet i will give all the code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code now here i also want to hide our this bottom container because i just take it to put our this code snippet but i don't want to show it on our page so from our this responsive option i want to hide this for all of our devices and now finally to achieve our this effect here with our this image first of all we need to add a class mdw-repeat-image and also need to write some custom css code on here and if you don't know this custom css option is only available in elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description let's paste this code and now if we save this from our preview on hover now we can see this amazing cool effect and you can see it's really so smooth so if you also want to add this effect with the other images you need to do the same thing from here i just want to copy this class name and also paste it for this image and also here write the same custom css and do it for this other image now we can see it's perfectly working for all of these images now here if you go back to this edit page and go to this custom css here we can also see some cool options so the first option is the repeat so from here you can control the number of repeated image for this hover effect so instead of three if we make it to ten now on hover you can see 10 repeated image for our this hover effect then here also the speed option for this animation and also the direction 
So instead of center, if we make it to left, now instead of the center, the animation happens on this left side. And here you can put five different options, top, bottom, left, right, or the center. Okay, I want to keep it to the default center. Let's also make it to three. And here lastly, you can see this squeeze option. So we can put three different values for this, X, Y, or none. So for this image, if we put X, and for the second one, if we put Y, you can understand it more properly. So now on hover, you can see this image is squeezed on the X direction. And for this image, it's on the Y direction. So if you want, you can also add this squeeze effect with this hover effect. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.